Fader Bank 1 through 8 replacement on the Studio Live 24.4.2. Here's the new Fader Bank I just got in from Personas. It goes right here. The new Fader Bank has a single printed circuit on the back as opposed to two like the old one did. We'll see it when we get to that point. For now, we'll put it away and until we need it. Turn the board so we get a better view for the camera here. Okay, we need to remove these screws here, but it looks like we got to take this plastic cover off first to get to it. So turn the put the board up on its side. There's three screws here. They're number two. I'm going to pull these off, and that cover just doesn't come right off. It needs to be uh, slid. We'll see when we get there. And we need to slide it in this direction to get it to come off. It takes a little bit of force. Uh, here so you can see what direction the board is in. So I'm going to push it. It clicks off. And now I'm going to wiggle it off, lift it off, set it to the side. Now we have a clear shot on all those screws on that metal side cover there. There are 17 of these smaller screws here. There's three that are larger and they hold on the brackets for the plastic cover. We don't need to remove those, just the 17 smaller perimeter screws. Hmm. The screwdriver doesn't work. No. Nope. This takes a smaller Phillips, a number one Phillips. So I'll grab one of those. Speed this up a little bit so you don't have to painfully wait. I'm just going to throw all the screws in the same cup because I can see that the only different sizes we have are the three for the plastic cover. They're larger and then all the rest of them are the small ones here for the metal side cover. Set that aside. We're replacing one through eight here. So we'll remove those fader knobs just by pulling straight up. Set them aside. Detach the ribbon cable for fader bank one through eight. Next I'm going to remove the 16 screws that mount fader bank one through eight into place here. They are the same size as the side cover screws, so I'll just put them all in the same cup here. The only three that are different are the larger ones for the plastic side covers. Now as I remove the last two, I'm holding on to the board with my hand in case there's any parts in there, and there is. These two plastic insulators here, we'll save those for installation of the new board. Here's the old one with two printed circuit boards instead of one like the new model has. These two are connected with that black wire. I'm going to prop the board up here because I've already tried a few times to install the new fader bank and I've lost the insulators. They slid off so I'm going to get the fader uh, surface level so that when I lift the fader bank into place they won't slide off. We'll see how that works out. Okay, 
And I'm looking here for the the matchup to see the where the old wear marks were from the old mount. Yeah. That's not it. Okay. I'm going to balance this in here so I don't lose those insulators. And then as equally as I can, try to lift it into position so that it goes up evenly. And I don't lose those insulators. I'm pressing up so they stay in place. But not with a lot of force, just just with my fingers, gently. I'll get a screwdriver to line the holes up here. Get the first hole going. Have a screw ready to go. Just going to snug it up. I'm not going to tighten it. That way I can wiggle the insulator into position on the other end. I'm going to speed it up here. Now that the four outside screws are in place, I will get the rest of the screws in the middle installed and snug and tighten them. And now there is an orientation on these fader knobs. So I want to put them back in, in the correct orientation. Time to reconnect the ribbon cable to the fader bank. It's a tight spot in there, so I use a fingernail on one side and kind of wiggled it on ever so gently to make making sure not to damage the new fader bank's circuit board. I've got to get that connector on there all the way. Now we'll go in reverse and put the 17 perimeter screws back on. And again, I'm not going to tighten them as I put them on. I'm going to get them all installed first. And then I will go back around and go through a even tightening sequence so it's on there nice. Let's get the plastic side cover on with the th three larger screws. They were the only three different screws out of the whole job here. Now my problem here was that my fader number eight was not responding. I'd move it up and down, get no volume change, and I would see no response in universal control as well. So here I've got it plugged back into my MacBook. One, two, three are working. I'm working my way up to eight. The tension is building, i got to admit. Tremolo please for number eight. And it's responding. So that's good news. That was the problem. So my fader eight now responds in universal control.